to my campaign manager, David Pluck. The unsung hero of this campaign. We built the best, the best political campaign, I think, in the history of the United States of America. To the best campaign team ever assembled in the history of politics. Above all, I will never forget who this victory truly belongs to. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. I was never the likeliest candidate for this office. We didn't start with much money or many endorsements. Our campaign was not hatched in the halls of Washington. We began in the backyards of the morning, in the living rooms of Congress, in the front porches of Charleston. It was built by working men and women who dug into what little savings they had to get five dollars, ten dollars, and twenty dollars to the cost. It grew strength from the young people who rejected the myth of their generation's apathy. <laughs> left their homes and their families for jobs that offered little pay and less sleep. It grew strength from the not-so-young people who braved the bitter cold and scorching heat to knock on doors of perfect strangers. And from the millions of Americans who volunteered and organized and proved that more than two centuries later, a government of the people by the people and for the people has not perished from the earth. I know you didn't do this just to win an election. I know you didn't do it for me. You did it because you understand the enormity of the task in life. But even as we celebrate tonight, we know the challenges that tomorrow will bring are the greatest of our lifetime. Two wars, a planet in peril, the worst financial crisis in a century. Even as we stand here tonight, we know there are brave Americans waking up in the deserts of Iraq, in the mountains of Afghanistan, to risk their lives for us. There are mothers and fathers who will lie awake after their children fall asleep and wonder how they'll make the work pay the doctor's bills, or save enough for their child's college education. There's new energy to harness, new jobs to be created, new schools to build, and threats to meet, alliances to repair. The road ahead will be long. Our climb will be steep. We may not get there in one year or even in one term, but America, I have never been more hopeful that I am tonight, that we will get there. I promise you, as a people, we will get there. Responsibility, 
when each of us resolves to pitch in and work harder and look after not only ourselves but each other. Let us remember that if this financial crisis has taught us anything, it's that we cannot have a thriving Wall Street while Main Street suffers. In this country, we rise or fall as one nation, as one people. Let's resist the temptation to fall back on the same partisanship and pettiness and immaturity that has poisoned our politics for so long. Let's remember that it was a man from this state who first carried the banner of the Republican Party in the White House, a party founded on the values of self-reliance and individual liberty and national unity. Those are values that we all share. And while the Democratic Party has won a great victory tonight, we do so with a measure of humility and determination to heal the divides that have held back our progress. As Lincoln said to a nation far more divided than ours, we are not enemies, but friends. Though passion may have strained, it must not break our bonds of affection. To those Americans who, whose support I have yet to earn, I may not have won your vote tonight, but I hear your voices, I need your help, and I will be your president too. Power of our ideal democracy. Yeah. 